whoa this is huge probably the biggest gaming news all year What is going on everybody? How are y'all doing? Whoa. This is arguably the biggest gaming news all year long. Next gen system launch dates. Systems, more than one. But before we get into the news, give the video a huge thumbs up. Like, like, like if you're not subscribed click that subscribe button let's get this video to over 150 likes let's get right to the news bro this is coming from tomsguy.com ps5 pro and new nintendo switch tipped to share a launch window oh we're going back to sega genesis and super nintendo battling out days it looks like the next iteration of the ps5 and the nintendo switch they're going to be going head to head. Let's check out the information and I'm going to share my thoughts. The latest rumor claims both game makers are aiming to hit shelves around the same time. And a one-two punch for my wallet. Rumor has it Sony's PS5 Pro and a revamped Nintendo Switch console will share a similar launch window now ps5 ps5 pro we already know it's going to be same games just more powerful on the next on the pro version and i've heard i'm just saying i've heard that the next switch console is going to be similar to uh, xbox x and s where it's going to be the same exact uh, family of systems but it's just going to be a more powerful version of what we currently have form factor i don't know what the form factor or any of that but i just know as far as software it'll be playing the same games all right let's check out the rest of this this information noted like that's outside of this article all right but let's get to this information back to the article noted leaker sega mega 99 claims in a rather cryptic tweet that both console so this is a noted leaker so this dude has gotten information right in the past that both consoles will, will release and i quote soon it looks like the holiday rumors are starting to line up without specifying exactly when that may be that's apparently based on intel from a wholesale retailer source check this out check this out who said sony and nintendo are manufacturing large quantities of both consoles for wholesalers presumably to reach the market around the same time so this is what happens every i've been doing this for a long time bro i've been gaming for a long time bro since atari 7800 first console then the nes then it just steve rolled from there but whenever manufacturers start to mass produce leaks are going to come out expect within the next few weeks crazy leaks with more concrete information of what the next nintendo console is going to be like what the next playstation 5 console that detachable rumor a detachable disk drive rumor all that is going to come into fruition when it starts going into a manu because at that point nintendo and sony has no more control those manufacturers whoever works on those assembly lines they're taking pictures on their phones all kinds of crazy stuff and it, it, it happens every year all right every time these consoles release these claims emerge shortly after a leak from inside gaming revealed sony is actively developing a ps5 pro 
for a 2024 release window. The Pro would be a mid-life cycle refresh of the base PS5 with boosted visuals and performance. I'm, he I'm hearing that's what the next Switch console is going to be too. As for the Switch, a previous leak suggested a new Switch model will launch alongside the upcoming Pokemon Scarlet, Pokemon Violet DLC, currently on the calendar for Winter 2023. It might be a Winter 2023 Switch, Spring 2024 PS5. And that's what it looks like. All right. Rumors about both the PS5 Pro and a new Switch console have circulated for years now, so it's important to take this with a grain of salt. All right, but check this out. Interestingly, Sega Mega 99 refers to the Nintendo Switch Pro as opposed to the rumored Switch 2. Or maybe he's hearing the same thing I've heard. Let me see what he says. I didn't read this part of the article yet. This adds fuels to rumors that the Mario Maker's next console may also be a mid-life cycle refresh running upgraded tech in the same vein as the Switch OLED. And that's exactly what I've heard, alright? That's what I've heard, that it's going to be... Uh, I just heard on the software front that it's just going to be souped up more powerful internals with the same... Um, it's going to be like the Xbox SX. It's going to be up to the developers whether or not they're going to make their games compatible on both consoles. Nintendo for sure probably have their first party games running on both platforms. Just at higher frame rate, higher fidelity on the more powerful version. The third party developers could be like, hey, our next Assassin's Creed game can only run on the Switch Plus or Switch Pro. Whatever they call it. All right. Rumors that it is important to Nintendo has repeatedly denied. Of course, they're going to deny it. Nintendo's six-year console is showing its age and has been for a while. I'm with my colleagues in feeling that it's too late in the Nintendo Switch life cycle for piecemeal Switch Pro upgrades. So they're thinking it's too late. I don't think so. I'm just now playing Advanced Wars on my Switch OLED, my Splatoon 3 Switch OLED. Bro, I'm really liking Advanced Wars reboot, bro. So... I'm cool, bro. As long as the third-party games can get on board, the first-party games on Nintendo uh, run good. All right. So the article who wrote this article said that he's still holding out for a true successor like the Nintendo Switch 2 instead. I, this, I'm going to talk about it in a second. The same leaker post. The same leaker posted back in April that the next Nintendo console will have The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario, and Splatoon games at launch. Whether that would be new releases or existing title upgrades for the new hardware wasn't clear. Our guess is the latter for obvious reasons. Splatoon 3 launched less than a year ago, um, and the highly anticipated uh, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom just a few weeks. All right, so we could just be getting upgraded versions, and that's what we're going to be getting, upgraded versions, probably Zelda at 60 frames per second, higher resolution, all that fun stuff. Now, as far as... Um, the Switch upgraded console that whole debate. I'm uh, Nintendo has already gone on the record to say they're hesitant about going to a new generation. They don't want to start from scratch anymore. They've been doing that every generation. Even the Wii and the Wii U had similar names, but completely different. When the there there were no. Nintendo first party games that launched on the Wii U that you could also play on the Wii. There weren't. So this generation, they, they, they started from scratch. They start from scratch every console generation. This, this is going to possibly be the first generation where Nintendo is going to do an iPhone approach, meaning gradual upgrades. They're going to bring along the entire Switch family over 122 million consoles. They didn't want to leave that behind. And have all games still compatible. And when they finally come out with the Switch to a true, real, next-gen, huge um, difference, it'll still be um, compatible with whatever this Switch Pro is. And they're going to just gradually keep their console base coming along. Um, like Sony has done this generation and Xbox has done this generation. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about a new Nintendo Switch? And PS5 Pro launching around the same time. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, 
click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we out this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably gonna lose shit when I do this, but hey, man, I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience, too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love, too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them a lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. Um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Master. Jedi Master. <laughs> we I got you, man. Obi You're playing two towns. Thank you. I got Obi -Wan, you, man. homie. I'm dedicating a workout set, <laughs> you, my boy. Let's go, man. <laughs> 26, 27, 28.